this is your reading for November 15th through the 21st. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. We're going to be doing the Celtic Cross here. We're going to find out Aries uh, where you are this week. Where is your energy this week? What you need to know and what's potentially coming for you in the week ahead, okay? The cards here for Aries. November 15th through the 21st. So something good is coming in towards you here, Aries. Um, I see this energy here. The Ten of Wands came out in your pre-shuffle twice already. So this is the third time that it is showing up here. Um, I feel like you are moving into a more prosperous, um, uh, more settled time here. Okay, I feel like there is a lot of success surrounding you as well. Um, and I feel like you're definitely going to have a lot of people that are interested in you, okay? Whether you are feeling like you want to open up to that energy or open up to people here, I feel like you may be a little secretive here um, during the month, uh, during this week, excuse me, during this week here. Uh, you may keep choose to keep some things to yourself. You may shy away from relationships or connections here as well. That's something else that I'm feeling, but... Let's see where you are, right? So, money looks good, okay? I see you putting in a lot of work here with the Eight of Pentacles that is coming in here. So you guys, you may be focused. The reason why you may be straying away here, Aries, is because your focus is mainly on increasing your income, um, increasing your finances. You may be uh, working on projects, studying, uh, just creating things that will bring you in material stability here in this 3D world here. I feel like you are mainly focused on perfecting your skills and possibly gaining more knowledge. You're very motivated in that area here um, this week. That's what I'm seeing. So that's not a bad energy here. A lot of people may see you working very hard here, okay? You're putting a lot of effort in behalf because you have the queen of swords that's crossing you they see you putting in a lot of uh hard work um and i feel like there's a, a lover here though someone that is uh definitely interested in you here aries because uh in your pre-shuffle you have the two of cups that came up in the future energy here and now you have the eight of swords and you have the queen of swords that is crossing you okay um so you guys may be holding yourself back from a connection or holding yourself back from people that want to get to know you on a more intimate level here. But it's it's mainly because you're focused right now on achieving some type of goal. Okay, that's what I feel. Um, your focus is very streamlined. And that's the energy that I'm bringing in here, that word streamlined. Okay. Um, I don't feel like you're too fearful. You're just protecting your energy. That's mostly what I feel like here. Um, and you're not wanting anyone to really take you off course here this week because you, you seem very, um, very determined to get something done or make something happen here. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys may be dealing with uh, financial matters here since the eight of pentacles is showing up as you here in your energy here okay you guys may be doing a lot of things when it comes to uh, reorganizing your finances investing uh, banking um, uh, signing contracts for loans you guys may be making big purchases here that's what I'm feeling as well okay 
according to astrology that's what you guys are really focused on bringing the coins in organizing your life um financially here okay and just getting things under control so what's grounding you here success definitely you guys are going to take a position um, of authority in your life and you're going to be very successful with anything that you touch here that's what I feel at least when it comes to your finances but I feel also this is along the lines of your relationships here as well you're going to be attracting a lot of people towards you here this week um, and a lot of people will be gravitated towards your energy here because they feel like you are very um, organized you are very successful okay um but i feel like in a way that's why you you're protecting yourself because you know that you have things in line and order there may be some fear that people may come in and distract you or take you off course here um but i see a lot of movement here with this will of fortune let's go back into this card here because um yeah i just i see you guys you're really moving in a very powerful way okay um very determined very calculated like you're thinking through a lot of your situations that you have to deal with a lot of uh the goals that you set out to accomplish here you're very focused on and determined to reach those goals right now a lot of you guys have had a lot of good opportunities this will continue here uh, throughout the month of November. This is not just this week. Spirit is letting me know that this energy of you being very successful, determined, and um, popular. That's the word that they're giving me. Will continue through the month of November here. Okay. So in your past energy here, Aries, you guys have the six of pentacles here. Okay. That's that reorganizing of your money, trying to get things balanced out. He's, he has the balancing skill here. Okay. I feel like, uh, you were definitely working on your finances in the past here. Money was definitely on your mind. Um, and I feel like you guys, um, you may have adjusted a lot of things, possibly your spending, your spending habits. You were very uh, co uh, conscious about where you were putting your money uh, in regards to giving it out, okay, or spending it here. So some of you guys were being very frugal because you knew that you had to fund um, a, a goal or dream that you had here in the future, okay? Um good decision with that that's what i'm seeing so you guys have the eight of swords here in the future energy um so i'm feeling like i feel like this is this ten, intense energy here in the future just mentally you guys may be um a little hard on yourself for some reason let's clarify this eight of swords i'm not sure why you're so hard on yourself you, you've done a great job the the queen of swords is crossing you here that i feel like that means you have made very good decisions you're very wise moving forward here okay but for some reason you may be closed off to um an opportunity here or you feel like you're mentally um stuck in some situation this may be something that happened in the past here possibly some energy that you gave out in the past you feel still stuck in that energy or there's fear surrounding this eight of swords um it may be someone that you were dealing with with the king of cups here someone that you stepped away from with the four of swords and the judgment card is coming in here. So because I did your pre-shuffle and the two of cups came in this position previously when I did your pre-shuffle. This may be a, a love opportunity. Um, someone coming back from the past here or, or you just reviewing the past and not wanting to repeat it. So you may be keeping this uh, energy in the back of your mind here but it's 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 kind of affecting your future energy here so i feel like with this full moon that is coming up here it's a lunar eclipse not a full one partial partial but it's almost full 
full moon eclipse that's coming up here November 19th here this is definitely letting me know that uh, this is the time for you around the 19th to start letting those things go the things that may have happened in the past or um, starting to let go of the fears that you have moving forward here in the future okay I need I feel like this eight of swords is kind of a needless type of struggle it's a self imprisonment here is fear of the past repeating here and it's okay okay to take some time to think about the past so we don't repeat it okay because we have to learn from the past but know that you can move forward confidently here okay because I feel definitely uh, with the will of fortune that is grounding you here Aries luck is on your side so I feel like your spirit team definitely has your back the universe has something on a grand scale um, waiting for you here so there, I feel like there's no need to worry. Spirit is saying with that Four of Swords, go ahead and heal from the past here, okay? Go ahead and let those things go that you may have, that you may be holding on to energetically and mentally here and no longer keep yourself uh, bound to what happened um, yesterday, okay? I'm going to say it like that. What happened yesterday here, okay? Because today is a new day. That's what I feel like they want you to know here, okay? So moving forward, what you guys, um, your suggested approach is to love, okay? Is to love here, okay? I feel like Spirit is letting me know, especially this week, you guys are very intuitive here. You're really relying on your emotions to help you get through this week. Relying on your intuition here. And I feel like whatever you're going to be faced with, whether that is a lover returning or new love stepping in here, that you will make the best decision for yourself. So go ahead and don't be afraid to love or to choose someone to love here, okay? Don't be afraid to take the steps towards love here. That's the highest energy of all. I definitely feel with the Ten of Cups that's coming in, um, in the position of what you need to know here is that you're going to be very happy. Like I said, some of you guys may be relocating here, Aries. You may be um, just working on bringing in more happiness and stability in your home, okay, in your environment here. And I feel like Spirit is saying with the Ten of Cups here, you will have that. It is guaranteed for you here, okay. There's good love, luck for you. Something is destined for you here, okay. Um... It actually feels really good with the Ten of Cups showing up. In regards to what you need to know, they're letting me know that it, this is a time for you to really um, relax and um, just focus on vibrating on a high energy here because there's going to be a lot of um, happy moments coming in towards you, okay? Either in relationships or spending time with family here, especially around the holiday times, all right? Um, there's a lot of uh, sharing of love and joy, possibility of love that's coming in, a partner that I'm seeing here. And you're going to be very satisfied, so there's no need to worry. There's forward movement here. Some of you guys feel like um, this is coming in your hopes and your fears position here. You're feeling... You're hoping whatever is coming in is going to be good. And I feel like uh, it will be with the Eight of Wands that's, that's coming in here, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are hoping for the best. You're wanting to reach your goals, and I see that you will. There's a lot of excitement happening in your life, and it's going to start happening very quickly from this week going forward. November is going to be a very um, beautiful and prosperous month for you here. Um, and I'm, it's starting this week. I see it, it. It feels really good here. Okay. Some of you guys. I'm not going to tell you what sign. I feel, I feel like it's water or fire uh, that may be coming in towards you here. That's what it feels like. Okay. Um, but you have the Knight of Wands here in the future position. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Oh. Alright, so you guys have the full card, the 
six of cups that's coming in here you also have the four of pentacles that's coming in so the knight of wands is all about forward movement transition fast movement here uh and you have the eight of wands that's sitting right under it here i feel like this is your movement uh for some reason that's the energy that that's coming in towards me okay um i feel like you guys are um stepping into um a new type of vibration here where you're feeling very free to make decisions for yourself uh you're very um i won't say cautious but conscious about where you are growing where you are expanding here okay it, it's still uh to me it feels like your your main focus here is on your financial gain and your power here which is great if that's what you want here okay because i feel like you will be very very successful here six of cups is letting me know there's a lot of happiness coming in towards you okay moving from the five of cups to the six of cups there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of um love being shown here you're showing a lot of emotion towards people that you love here okay and i feel like with the ten of wands you guys know that it is taking you a very long time um to get to this position because this is crowning you it's taking you a very long time to get to this position so um i feel like at this time spirit is saying since we're at the ten of wands that you deserve everything that's coming in towards you that's good okay and it's okay to rest and enjoy uh, your time here this week because you've put a, hard, a lot of hard work in so far, Aries. Okay, let's close your message off with, let's close your reading off with a message from Spirit. Ooh, yes. Okay, so you guys have power that's coming in towards you power your car says smooth soaring ahead what did i tell you okay bless <laughs> you can lead with authority and mystical power you are blessed with innate courage tenacity and sophistication okay but you are your greatest challenge remember that and i feel like you are your greatest challenge here all right you could put yourself in a negative energy just by thinking it or stay optimistic let me just put it that way stay optimistic and keep your energy um your vibrations high do things that bring you happiness and try not to worry here this week because i feel like there's a lot of great things moving in towards you here aries okay so um your card says refrain from self-criticism and doubt ultimate success is predestined yes absolutely Okay, you guys, that is your reading. Um, take care of yourself, and I will see you guys in the next weekly reading. Bye.